up everybody welcome to my channel today i'm gonna talk about three most important and easier things you can do right now to become a home owner and also i'm gonna give you one bonus tip and at the end of the video so you watch until the end of the video so tip number three so if you want to become a home owner you want to buy a house and number three is you need to get a credit score and credit score preferably over 620 but if your credit score is below 600 don't be disappointed, don't be upset and there are some loan officers, lenders, the banks that can process your loan but it will be difficult but it's doable so don't give up and, and talk to your loan officer, lender so see what you can do if your credit score is low so if you haven't got uh, any credit score yet what you can do right now is get a, get a free credit card so I have a credit card for you if you haven't got a credit card yet the link is going to be in the description uh, I love I use that credit card and I love it so that's why I put it uh, down there so get the credit card make sure you pay off regularly so every time you get a statement you pay you made a payment so credit score of 620 um, that you uh, it's possible to get a house the ideally 730 above it will be great so you will be getting so great and you know interest rate is so low that you're gonna love it so 730 above is ideal so uh, if you have 800 credit score that would be perfect perfect so that's that's number three thing number three so you should get a credit score as high as possible if you are married a husband and wife and um, make sure you both have credit score usually they take the lower credit score uh, so let's say husband has 800 credit score but the wife has only 620 they, 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 they might take the wife so credit score which is 620 so you want the low, your lower score to be the highest so husband and wife uh, should get a, a credit card get a credit score as high as possible if you are both walking that's great so let's say a husband is walking uh, make a lot of money 70,000 but he does have a credit score that would be a difficult situation the wife has a credit score but he she doesn't walk and the husband has um, high income but doesn't have a credit score that would be quite a difficult situation so I, I suggest you put both of you to have a credit score so that you know um, it's much easier for you to get a loan number two is have a stable jobs so the lender loan officer the banks they usually look at your job history so they prefer you to have at least two years of job history and private history what are they looking at they, they want to know that you've been in the same industry for two years and so for example if you are engineer and then you change your job to marketing manager that will be a little bit difficult they don't want to see you changing uh, industry you know from engineer to uh, marketing manager but you know in my opinion it's still better than losing your job you know let's say you you started working an uh, engineer you were in the job for one year then you lost your job and you you, you haven't got a job for like six months that would be more difficult situation but you know it's case by case basis so whatever your situation is the best way is to talk to the uh, realtor and also talk to the lender see how what you can do so if you are a doctor uh, so you don't want to be switching to the marketing manager if you're a marketing manager and you don't want to be switching to the uh, IT you know IT field so if if you are in the same industry uh, profession you want to change your jobs that will be much easier than you switching to the, your career so the main point is that they want to see you have a stable employment history because because they are giving you the money so they don't want to give you the money to somebody that who can hold on to uh, stable jobs so so you know so it's a high risk because what if you lose your job and they, you can pay your loan uh, that they, they are making a lot so so that's them uh, two tips so I uh, make sure you have a stable history so if you are just started working so make sure you have a stable uh, job and also they they want also want to know that hey your salary your pay is uh, is it increasing is it getting higher so if your pay getting higher every year that's great they, li they like it but no matter what the situation is you know talk to your loan officer 
uh, because it's all, always case by case basis. So don't be upset or don't be disappointed. So if you don't have a two years of history for that, so yeah, any carry or whatever cost. Sometimes they may they may ask you to pay higher down payment or uh, uh, stuff like that. So talk to your loan officer, your lender. That's number two. And tip number one is getting all the documents right. So when you apply for loans lender or the banks they cannot ask you different documents so number one is w2 two years of w2s and also tax return so with these two documents they will require two years so if you don't have w2 it's gonna be 1099 and tax return two years so minimum two years so this is this is a general rules you know uh, they may ask different documents so I just want to give you a general ideas uh, w2 tax return and the bank statement bank statement and also the pay stop so bank statement and pay stop they want to ask you two most recent bank statement pay stop so that will be uh, if you uh, get it paid uh, bi-weekly it will be four documents uh, these are all general guidelines so different lenders may require different uh, documents based on where you live your state city and so so make sure you you are getting with all the documents it's best that you are watching this video because I know that if you're watching this video you are preparing uh, to become homeowners so the best way is to prepare six to one year in advance six to one years yes so be why because you want to increase your credit score as high as possible and also you want to increase your income as high as possible at the time and you want to have a stable jobs history so don't lose your job so that will that will set you back a few months or you know maybe a few years so you don't want that don't lose your job don't um, basically don't lose your credit score as well because if you your credit score drops so much that will be uh, that will not be good so that will set you back so make sure you pay down the loan balance regularly uh, don't pay the interest you know, if possible at all and also keep it minimal maximum 30 percent 30 percent on debt to credit limit so let's say if your credit limit is 10,000 you don't want to use more than 3,000 on your credit uh, limit so they have the statement date so for the credit card they have the statement date so let's say your statement date is uh, uh, the first of every month so you make sure uh, you reduce the amount so let's say you have 5,000 you know you you have 5,000 in debt your credit limit is 10,000 so just before first of every month which is the statement date you want to pay down 2,000 so to keep it maximum 30 percent so pay down 2,000 for that that's a very important tip you know very important tip so pay down uh, so that you do not exceed 30 percent that's how you gonna uh, keep your credit score high so I'm gonna give you more in the next videos you know definitely in future videos I'm gonna give you how to increase your credit score uh, the fastest and easiest way so make sure you subscribe and smash the like button on, our, on my channel here comes the bonus tip so the most important thing is you talk to the realtor first yes I'm serious because realtors buy and sell houses like five to ten more than ten it can be more than ten houses every year so they know the process they've been doing this every single day every single day so very very important bonus tip is talk to the realtor if you don't have a realtor so make sure call you comment below you can reach out to me hey i don't have a realtor i have a network connection everywhere in us canada internationally so just comment below and reach out to me or on, on youtube or facebook um you know a facebook page whatever so i'm gonna help you out. i'm gonna look for yeah, a great realtor for you but that's not a guarantee because different people have different personality you know a, a realtor may be really great but he may not be right for you if your personality and his personality don't match up so but you can also reach back out to me again hey uh, it doesn't work out with uh, this realtor uh, i will be really glad to help you find another realtor so talk to the realtor because if they know your needs your objectives they can help you out better so let's say if you need down payments so they might know lenders or the banks who can give you down payment grants because not every lender not every bank have all the programs so, you, so your CD may have different types of program and these programs uh, may qualify different lenders you know uh, some of the lenders may not be qualified to give you those programs and a great realtor know your needs 
know your objectives and they can give you better better uh, direction they can direct you better direction hey talk to this learner you know uh, so my suggestion is try to apply to at least three learner three learner so that you know which can give you the best service which can give you uh, the best ways and uh, personally uh, I prefer to go with private uh, lender private mortgage because they work on the weekends the banks uh, some of them they don't work on the weekends so if you are buying at home and they, they don't work on the weekends this will be very hard to you to get a pre-approval letter so so more on that later so in my channel so make sure you subscribe and smash the like button on my channel so so I'm gonna tell you all this video later so this is very very bonus important tips or look for a realtor that you trust you know if you don't have it uh, it's okay uh, just comment below and uh, your CD and your country so and uh, reach out to me I will help you find one so so make sure you in I hope you enjoyed this uh, videos and I would really love to give you more videos like, like that so uh, it will really help the channel out so if you just subscribe and share this video so thank you for watching I will see you in the next video bye, -bye.